Hi Dan, once you've had Hoboware Pro installed, you're going to want to change a couple things in the preferences to help speed up things as you're downloading all these loggers that you have. The biggest thing is being able to automatically read out a logger and save your data file pretty much without doing anything. Open up the preferences and then click on the readout time saving options and change these settings here. The first one you're going to want to do is have it automatically save which this will put it in your default directory and then you're going to want it so it doesn't plot so you can just unplug the logger and then basically plug another one in and it will offload and save for you as well finally you want to uncheck this ask to stop logging and this will speed things up by adjusting your launch preferences you can automatically bypass uh, your launch screen which may speed some things up for you, especially if you're launching like you have 100 uh, on-off loggers. So basically you'll want to change this, this setting here so it just goes to automatically launch. You can have this launch with the current logger settings that you have plugged in there or from a previous launch. Uh, in your case, I would probably play around with these settings here because there are a couple different options uh, depending upon which way you go with the current logger you can then have it launched now at an interval a delayed start or a triggered start so again I'd, I'd play with these preferences here and see what best works for you final preference you're going to want to change is your export settings which will also help when it comes to the bulk export tool uh, you go down here to export settings you can set this up so you're either doing comma semicolon or tab delimited I'll put this as tab delimited. You can separate your date and time into two columns and you can include some of this other stuff about the logger. Um, for this I'm going to leave this this way. One other setting that you're going to want to make sure you change and you just kind of scroll down here to the bulk export. There's something called YAML which is a programming header type thing. Uh, this comes up as a default as being unchecked. Your Hoboware Lite software when you export it should have a bunch of garbage that's on top of your data file and what this will allow you to do is basically get rid of all the stuff on top so that you have a data file that looks something like this and should be a little easier for uh, you to manage uh, going into your program okay now that we have all our preferences set here just make sure you go over here and hit OK and this will remember everything for you and just a quick tour here on the bulk export tool. Once you have that installed, you will notice this tools heading up here. And we come down to bulk logger file export and then select files to be exported. I have a bunch of these here on my desktop just for uh, demo purposes. Let me just find them here. But basically you go through and you can hold down uh, your shift key to basically select a bunch of files. You hit continue. Uh, this will allow you to choose a folder in terms of where you want to put it. I'll put it back onto the desktop here and create a new folder called exported files. Hit create and then hit open and it'll automatically process the everything here for you. Uh, you'll notice here that I'm doing this on a Mac so it's a little different on Windows but still should be pretty straightforward. Once this has gone through and exported all of your files you'll basically just hit OK and just to confirm that everything came out right after your your export you can open up uh, the directory where you save the files. There is a log in here uh, that will basically show you uh, what happened in terms of what files got exported and uh, what the file names were and what they were changed from and to and basically it just changes it from the dot hobo to the dot txt and uh, let me close this here real quick and we open up one of our files here and I have a text file here with everything with my date and time as well as what the readings were.